Good morning. Oh, goodness. Trying to get awake here. Nope. I'm going to turn that down. There we go. Or I'm going to have an echo. <clears throat> and just doing the little death spin. That's what I'm seeing on my phone, anyhow. Let me see if I can turn on the Wi Fi, see if that does anything for it. Yeah, me neither. Cindy, I don't want to do a day there. Thinking about cutting my show to Friday only. There we go. Now it should be on. There we go. I'll get the cam going here in a minute. I'm not even awake yet. Red Bull, of course, through my veins, please. Did you fish last night, Cindy? Oh. I don't know, my, my power went out last night, I think. Because the TV in the living room was off. And the uh, clock on the stove and microwave were whacked out. So the best I can tell is the power either flickered or went off or something. Yeah, at least it's Friday, Cindy. I guess that counts, right? <clears throat> Finish my cigarette, I reckon, and it will. Play morning show host. There we go. Mm. I'm not too dry today. Should I stay or should I go? Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> yeah, we must have had storms last night. I must have slept through them, I reckon. I must have been tired. Well, I mowed till almost dark yesterday evening. Uh, hey, Jimmy, good morning. Because I knew it was going to rain. And I, if I didn't mow yesterday, it's hard. I'd have had to get a bush hog, probably. And that might be a slight exaggeration, but not much. I got to shut down about eight this morning. I got a report I got to hit out from my lender. <clears throat> I have no idea what time Pop went to bed last night. I went to bed at 10, 30, 11, thereabouts. He's still up. And I think about midnight, I heard Mom tell him to go get in bed. <laughs> and, but she can't see his eyes if he was sitting there asleep or not. But I just heard her telling him, you know, go get in bed. I got up this morning, that's where he was. I just cannot get going this morning. I 
Good morning, Chris. How are you? You ever feel a headache coming on? Like in the, you can feel it in the back of your head, and it's you know there's a headache coming forward or something like that. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, me too, Chris. I'm tired. I can't get going today. Mama said it to me, Jack, to tell me how to live. I don't listen to her because my head is like a sieve. Dun, 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 dun. Daddy this on me because I wear my sister's clothes. Dun, 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 dun. Caught me in the bathroom in a pair of pantyhose. Dun, 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 dun. What movie is that from? Yes, she's in the movie, correct. You win the prize today. And the dragon base. Now, can you do that in high current, Chris? I don't know that much about it, so pardon my stupidity, but. Dragon baits, that's when, is that when they're using planer boards and stuff like that? Let's hope you get to see alligators today. <laughs> Good morning, Nate. My big dog hurt her paw or something. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. All right. You're not going to be dragging on the Mississippi itself. Okay. That makes sense. I'm guessing them octopus are like fingers that run off of the Mississippi, and that's going to be where the alligators live. I don't know anything about it, but I'm betting money on that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know what my rational fear of alligators is. I, uh, my cousin and lived in Florida. They had like small lakes all around the neighborhood, you know, and uh, there was alligators in them. You'd see them all the time. Then there was this crazy Italian guy, uh, pure mafia dude. I mean, bar none mafia guy, but. His last name was Di Gioia or something like that. The whole neighborhood was full of uh, Italian people from New York. Yeah. Also had his own little airport, if that tells you anything. But he uh, he shot a gator in the backyard or near his backyard. You know, each, each backyard faced the pond. Most of them had fences. And... Uh, Someone called the game warden or something on him, I guess. But by the time the game warden got there, he had him, you know, up on the table in the back there, the fishing cleaning table. He was getting ready to cut the tail and everything off. And uh, I think it was illegal at the time to shoot them or something like that, unless they were posing an immediate danger to, you know, family or pets. And uh, he said that, his girls were in the, he had two daughters. He said they were in the backyard and it was coming up the, in the yard after him or something. And then the DNR guy or game warden guy asked him, well, what are you cutting the tail off for? <laughs> and they ended up taking the, the gator. And I don't know if they wrote him a citation or what, but I'm pretty sure whatever it was got dropped because, uh, like I said, these were pure mafia people. You know, and then you get into what, the year, I don't know, let's say the 90s maybe, and they start making these mafia movies, and sure enough, there was a, 
uh, a branch of the New York Mafia that runs some clubs in Tampa. This was my aunt and lived right just north of Tampa. My uncle sold uh, Mercedes Benz at the dealership across the road from the stadium. Yeah, I know. That's what it, uh, Creole was saying the other night. It says it's been pretty tough. That's horrible, too, man. Drive all the way down there and have real tough conditions like that. I suppose typically it's good fishing this time of year down there. I would assume that uh, y'all. NJ, what's up, dude? I would assume you all discussed it with Creole, you know, a year ago or whatever when you were planning it and said, hey, you know, when's a good time to fish? And that, you know, this time of year came up, I'd, I'd imagine. Boy, I like them rods uh, Freddie was showing last night. Uh, I like the one that he said it had the narrower handle. I got small hands, and I'm like, yes, that I'm all. If he gets them in stock, I'm all about that. But I got to fin. I got to finish my appraisal report today, and uh, trying to figure out what else I got to do. I know. Uh, Poor dad, he's he was kind of a pain yesterday afternoon when I was mowing. He wanted to mow. And I'm like, Pop, we were taking mom to the doctor, and he was talking about it. So I said I was going to mow when I got back. And, uh, well, I'll help you mow. And I'm like, Pop, man, you can't mow no more. I'm sorry. Why? Well, because he's been doing real good. The one with the narrow handle? Yeah, I thought so, too. And I like the extra eyes. In, in, the, in the rod, I like the 11 or whatever he said it was. I like when my the fishing rod has a lot of eyes on it. I don't know why. I just think it looks cool. But we didn't get in an argument, but we were talking about it. And I finally told him, I said, Pop. And he said, well, I, I know I can do it physically. And he's been doing pretty decent this week. He can't walk across the room hardly without his walker. But. So I ended up telling him that, you know, Pop, it ain't the physical part of it I'm worried about with you driving the mower. I said, it's it's the the brain part of it. You know, I'm afraid that you'll get out there and get confused or something. And, you know, next thing I know, we're pulling you and the lawnmower out of the pond. And I, I told him, I said, I just can't let you do that. With, you know, if something would happen, I would get in trouble, too, from the hospice people or whatever. If something happened to him and I let him do something irresponsible, like mow the yard, you know. I mean, the hospice people are really nice and everything, but I'm sure they keep an eye on stuff, too. You know, when they come, like the nurse comes once or twice a week, you know, depending on how he feels. And the shower lady, too, she comes twice a week. And the bad part is he'll forget the conversation today and we'll have it again the next time I'm all. <laughs> what do you do? I could probably go back to bed and go to sleep, I think, and wouldn't, even miss, wouldn't miss a heartbeat. Okay, Kristen, you got to... Uh, brag on that rod and get him to, to carry that one so we can get some of them. You know what I like in, and I got my my two 10 foot poles, one's a tangling with cats and one's just a, an ugly stick, the bronze colored ugly stick and uh, I'd love to be able to find some way to put cork handles on them. Morning J&J. Because I dig cork candles. Don't ask me why. I just think they're cool. I, I know why. It's, it's because all the poles when I was a kid had cork candles on them. That's got to be what it is. When's Rusk and them supposed to leave to go fishing? I forget. Or were they leaving today or tomorrow? Hmm. 
Because I suppose if he was leaving his day and if he was on the road, he'd want to come up while he was driving. I don't know. I'm having a dilemma about my show. Uh, I'm thinking about just going to, back to doing Fridays only. Uh, Telly's awake. Good morning, Telly. Bright and smiley today. Good to see your smiling face. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. After last Friday and getting angry and stuff, I don't. I don't get angry. I don't like to get angry or whatever. You know what I mean? Last week was a really pain in the ass show. It was mostly my fault. And I just, I was thinking about just not doing it anymore, making this the last show. And I, and I thought, well, you know, it was okay. I was thinking to myself, you know, it was okay when you're just doing one day a week. It was fun and stayed pretty fresh, you know, each each week. So I think I'm going to go back to just one day a week and I'll let the rest of the world figure the rest of the days out. I don't really care. Uh, it's either that or I'm just going to quit. I don't know. I was leaning towards just quitting doing it. And uh, going back into the background where I've always been, that's probably where I belong. I don't belong in front of the camera, I don't think. I thought I heard Dad. I, I don't have the the patience or temperament to, to be in front of the camera. And that was evident last Friday. And I almost beg an apology, and I'm going to apologize to her. Uh, I was having a bad week, and I feel bad about what happened last week. You know, but when I said no one understands what I go through that morning before that show, I get up and it's happened a couple of times now and I go to use the bathroom and I walk in there, there's poop all over the floor where dad didn't make the bathroom one time. So before I start my show, I start my morning cleaning up the bathroom naturally and then start my load of laundry with some bleach and some towels, and uh, I think that probably set the stage for my mood the rest of that morning. I don't know. It's not an excuse, though. But it gives some insight into why I was so grouchy last week. You know, I don't ever say anything in front of Pop and stuff like that happens. I just clean it up, but, you know, sometimes we're all human, man. Not sometimes stuff gets to you, so that was me. And uh, I'll figure it out uh, if someone else wants to do what is it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Rusty does Thursdays. And uh, I'll just do Fridays from now on. And that's that. That was the whole idea behind the link to the should I stay or should I go? I don't know if it came through or not. I don't know when when you put that. You know, you put the title in, and there's that box below it, and you know, you put whatever you want in there or whatever. I have no idea where if you can see that or where you see it at or anything like that. On my phone, I suppose I could look and see if it's. See, yeah, I don't see it unless. Topic, today's topic, should I stay or should. Yeah, okay, but you gotta click on the description to see it. I understand now, said the blind man. Let's see. But. It is what it is. <laughs> if it ain't no fun, why do it? You know what I mean? You know, I sure have a... Everyone should try this one. Man, I have a huge respect for Paul Greg and them, what they do now. There's no way I could do it every day. Not for... A couple years on the end, you know what I mean? I just couldn't do it. 
Hoglick, he has the perfect temperament for something like this. Because he's always slow and even kill. He doesn't get really excited about much. Oh, wait. Next week, I may be in the J-Dogs anyway. Come think of it. See, the 25th, Dad goes to the respite place, so... I'm trying to think if I, I'll, depending on what happens Thursday, whether I leave to go to J-Dogs Thursday or Friday, be, you know, I could be doing the show on the road Friday. And I still ain't figured out my car. Uh, there's a million different things that could be from what I'm checking. And uh, I sure hate to take it in and have them diagnose it for me. Because I suppose if you took it somewhere that had, the, you know, the big computer code reading thing that you hook onto the car, I'm pretty sure they'd want to charge me a hundred bucks or so to hook up, just to hook up to it and see what it says. I thought, I bet. I don't know. I mean, my buddy that works at the Ford dealership, he can't bring it in there and do it. I mean, I'd have to, you know, do it through them and pay whatever, you know, an invoice and everything. But anyway, I did. I went and got the plates for Buick yesterday. And it's a, the goofiest thing, okay? If you come into the lobby there, the place is open 24 hours a day, and there's a the machine there, and you can just renew your plates and everything right there, right? And it prints your registration out with your little sticker on it. Well, when I get there yesterday, there's three people in the lobby. And I just kind of look inside the door there, and there ain't hardly nobody inside the BMV itself. I'm like, oh, cool. So I just go in and grab a number. And I sit there maybe three minutes. And a lady calls me, and I go up, and I need to renew these plates. And... Uh, I'd done them for my Ford in the little machine thing there, you know, Kasik or whatever it's called. Kiosk, that's it. Yeah, I, was, I can always can't figure that out. But anyway, we get all done and I pay her. And the lady says, we'll mail this to you in five to seven business days. I'm like, what do I say? I can go right out there and it prints it for me. Nope, they don't print them there. They'll, they'll mail it to. I figure that. Shit out. I'm like, what? Good morning, D. 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 Happy D. But yeah, and, and when I go to leave, there's people, and the one guy told me said, "That's why we always use this because it prints it right out." I said, "I had no idea," and I said, "I'll know from now on." I think I actually renewed my driver's license on that kiosk thing and it just used the old picture from when, before it expired my last license where I needed to change the address and I didn't change the address my license expired on my birthday this year it's like so I had to get it done quick so now I got to go in and take some stuff in you know letters or something that show uh, this is my new address Yeah, J&J, I, I agree. I I just think I bit off more than I can chew, to be honest with you. You know, it, uh, 
some people are good at certain things, you know what I mean? And like you said, it you know, you got it's hard to come up with things to talk about every day. Yeah, or you talk about the same thing every live, it gets boring, exactly. And, uh, you know, and, and I try to think of, of things that I haven't talked about before to start the day out with or whatever, you know what I mean? But if it was once a week, it's not a problem. You got all week to, you know, whatever's happening in the world or the fishing world or whatever, you can always have something fresh to talk about once a week. So I think that's what I'd probably do. Mondays aren't that bad really neither, but I just don't I don't want to do two a week, I don't think anymore. I guess it depends on how bored I am when I get up next week on Monday morning if there's no show I'm like well somebody got to start something you know and then fire something up I guess I don't know I'm sure there's somebody that uh, some you know I'm sure there's somebody that wants to do a live take my advice it's not as easy as it looks You know, I should have went fishing one of the last three days, but I couldn't because this bay was nice and sunny. And well, yes, was it yesterday or the day before? Had the high winds. One day this week, we uh, we had it was sunny, but we had really high winds. Uh, the first sunny day, good morning, I said the first sunny day, I think. Tuesday and it was perfect there was no wind it was like 70 degrees 71 oh my god I should be freaking fishing right now but it didn't work out that way how you feeling Rustic I feel better just got a shower here later on go to therapy that's, a visual, I, <laughs> that's a visual I don't need man <laughs> uh, Rustic. Rustic in the shower <laughs> You know, I don't want to visual. I don't want to see myself in the shower. Who am I kidding? <laughs> oh man! Hey, when Double J. You, good morning. When are you leaving? Uh, pack it up today. I'm leaving in the morning about three o'clock. Okay. See, I didn't know. I was what I was talking about a little bit ago. I was like, I wondered if you were leaving today, and if you were, you would have been on the road by now. Yeah, yeah I got therapy this morning, and which I which I had two nights stayed up booked up over there and I canceled one because John said that he wasn't gonna be there till late Friday night. So there wasn't no sense of me going over. And uh yeah. till Saturday. Then he find out he left yesterday and he's there now. I'm like make up Are my you mind. kidding me? He just went he just he pulled that on you just to get to jump. No, I'm kidding. I told him I said I said you're doing that because you want to get some practice in before Dominic whoops that butt. <laughs> yep. Yep. But see, he could be like me too, man. And I'm kind of guy on a whim. If I say I'm going to meet you on Saturday somewhere, but I'm at home and I get bored, I'm like, well, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave now and I'll, I'll be there when they get there kind of thing. Or he could be like a little kid who was getting ready to go on vacation so he couldn't sleep. So he's like, I just going to go early. So it's <laughs> <that's> driving me crazy. <laughs> that's why in the morning I'm leaving at 3 a.m. Morning, Nate. Uh, and then I'm gonna meet Dominic over there, meet him at five, and uh, try to catch me much skipjack up before the tournament starts. And that way, oh, uh, okay. I'll get yeah. in there, they can do their thing. Then when the tournament's over, we'll go eat and we'll go catfish. Nice, nice. Where are you going catfish at? Uh, we haven't decided that yet. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were going to catfish there or what. You know, I didn't know if they came in to eat the the skipjack and stuff in there or what. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's catfish there, but the water's up extremely high right now. Yeah. Cajun Chris. <laughs> yeah. What I was Creole speaking. My dad done some crane work down there one time and he uh 
he's kind of small town country guy like and he said i couldn't understand a word they said down there <laughs> he said i just kept eating whatever they put in front of me and he said the food was awesome and i think i think i was down there for about a month or something and uh him being the crane operator you know all the all the iron worker dudes uh they're they're always nice to the crane operators because they're the ones standing under them big heavy beams that that crane operator is holding up you know but they take him out he's he was like the oldest guy there you know because he's running a crane or whatever and uh he uh he said they'd take him out every night buy him dinner and uh feeding beer all night you know <laughs> good morning sunshine are you looking for some coon hey, right? Man, dude, you might as well go home, lay in the backyard with your sunglasses on and just get that all over with and make it <laughs> pronounced. Hey, Why do you know that's how you're doing it? I'm still trying to get my coffee ready. Oh. Well, it don't look like coffee. It's oh, coffee. is it? Really? Cool. I know uh, I'm torn. We've got a Keurig in... It's okay because Dad's about the only one that drinks coffee. But I'll make him a cup, and he'll he'll end up like his mind wanders or whatever, right? And he'll leave it there and it'll get cold. And I'll go heat it up for him, and or, or else it'll be drank far enough that it's not worth heating up. And I'll just make him another one. And I thought I had to do that about five times in the last three weeks. I thought, why don't I just go buy a coffee pot? And then I got coffee, you know. He doesn't put nothing in his, so I could pour the coffee out of the cup back in the pot with the hot coffee and mix it up and, and refill his cup. So now hey, I'm gonna do it looks like with somebody the held you by the top of the head next to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here, wait, hold on. Let me put you up on solo. I did, I see. I don't think about that. I see what I mean by stuff that that people that they do that I don't ever think about. Yeah, now turn sideways. Oh yeah. Oh, he is burnt. You got a line where your hat was for your head. That's for sure. <laughs> Good lord, Chris! Don't you believe in sunscreen? <laughs> that's worse than the front. Oh my God! Are oh. you kidding me? That's at least I didn't. At least I didn't wear my trucker cap where you get the. Uh, <laughs> Had the little polka dot. Oh, oh, tell his hand. <laughs> Gee, you're killing me. Oh, you're killing me! You turned your head around. Because I don't have the peace sign on top of my head. Yeah, use some sunscreen. Oh, it's wide. Two hundred yeah. sunscreen. He had sunscreen on. Yeah, sunscreen. Oh man, it would have been a lot worse. Dang. That morning, Telly. That was too much. First thing, say good morning, Telly. Good morning, good morning, morning Telly. She said good morning. I don't know if you guys. Happy. Uh, what is it about the third or fourth day of being 38, 39 now? Or Dale, I thought I looked bad coming back from skipjack fishing when I take my sunglasses off. Like <laughs> yesterday was the only day I wore my sunglasses. Man. Oh, the part from the hat in the back is the greatest. That's is there? Look at that. I mean, it's just oh, man, so that cool. is. Oop. You look up redneck in the dictionary, man, and that's it. Yeah, it's definitely. Does it hurt if you smack it? Oh, okay. Let's see. Because if I have a fresh sunburn like that, my friends, I guarantee are going to wear my neck out smacking it. Oh, you wait till that dude this. Time to find better sunblock. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bad thing is that we it's been quiet. cloudy, you know, and just a little sun here, a little sun there. Everyone. And you don't realize. Yeah. You're getting burnt, you know? yeah. yeah. But yet you're getting burnt. Forget to reapply the sunblock. That's when it's worse, when it gets the sun peeps out every now and then. Yeah, at least I understand now a lot of them Florida fishermen who have them hats with the flaps that go down, you know what I mean? I understand now why I can see. Yeah, mate, I agree with that. <laughs> I'm find better sunblock. Because that, that sun's a little stronger down there than it is up here as far as burning you goes. It's going to be, uh, you know, out there on those rivers, they're up so much, current's just raging. And I mean, we're just wore out from being in the boat and all that choppy water. 
Oh, I bet. Yeah. But today we're going to go out to an oxbow and drag bait. So oh, chill. it's going to be a, it's going to be a chill day. I mean, it's uh, yeah. be some good fishing, I think, but, uh, you know, when you're dragging baits, once you got the track, because Creole hasn't recorded tracks or anything. So we're going to show him how to do all that and get, uh, get those, get the planer boards out and just kick back. Nice. Yeah. More than John Oler. I agree. That's, you know, sometimes. Yeah, that's right. Wallbash Nate said, yeah, plus the water reflecting the sun. Yep. Yep. More John. More Chris Ham. John Oler. But I just wanted to pop up a little bit and say hi and. I'm glad you did. So to show you my new tattoo. Yeah, I, I dig that. Uh, Freddie's got a band aid tattoo right here. I seen that. Yeah, I seen that last night. Uh, and and being out there when the water's choppy and fast like that, you know, plus you're gonna kind of be on guard. You know what I mean? It's not like you're gonna be totally chilled out and relaxed while you're out there. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't be anyway. I, I mean, Creole's boat's big enough. You feel? Oh, is it safe? Yeah. I mean, it's you can get up and move around and not feel like you're going to fall over. And and he's done that his whole life, so at least you know you're safe. That's the thing about big rivers like that, man. You get to you know, know what you're doing when you go. You know, go with someone who knows who's been there a lot. Yeah, but when they're up and rolling, they're always predictable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well. I'm gonna drink my coffee. <clears throat> we got to be over at Creoles at six. <laughs> what time is it now? <laughs> I'm working at five thirty-seven. It's four thirty here, so. Ah, uh, okay. Drink my coffee, get dressed, get ready to go. I'm working. Yeah, we're gonna back out, cover up. <laughs> we're gonna break in Freddie's brand new rods today. We're gonna use them dragon bait. Yeah. Now, don't forget to brag on that one with the narrower handle. So we I've already some, told him. Yeah, yeah. And tell him that, that, that I kept raving about it because that's I got small hands, and that's perfect for me. All right. Yeah. We'll be watching. All right, man. We'll see you. I, also, I always used to buy the uh, thinnest dirt bike grips I could get. You know what I mean? I didn't care how soft or whatever they were. I wanted the, the thinnest ones so they were, you know, less di less diameter or whatever, so I get a better grip on the, the handlebars. Yeah, you know, I think that's the first time I've ever seen Chris without a hat. I think I'm trying to remember. I'm sure I seen him take it off and put it back on down the, when we were fishing at that time at Ohio for uh, the veteran thing. I'm going to have to blow my nose pretty soon, man. These, the, all the trees are flowering right now. Man, it just lights that nose up. Yeah, they don't fly or didn't bloom down here. Oh, have they? Yeah, they're just now blooming. It's pretty and smells good, but it also makes my nose run horribly. What are you doing up so early, John Oler? Are you driving or? No, he's at the he's at the room up there. Oh, he's just a fishing thing waiting on you. That you was you could have came a day early. <laughs> He'll have you a bunch of skipjack on ice just waiting for you when you get there to take home. I imagine they'll go down there and they'll try it. Oh, yeah. And, and I, that's the place you, is that the place you was at before and you guys got there real early so you knew you could get the place you wanted to be at? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the weekends, you got to get there pretty early if you don't. It's tough to get the, to the right spot. And plus, I like yeah. to get there somebody else and read that water and see, what, see where the main swirls are. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, 
it was kind of nice. I, I had to take mom to the doctor yesterday, and dad rode with us because we couldn't leave him here. And uh, we drove the Buick, and it, it was actually really nice. I forgot how comfortable that thing is, man. I mean, it's like the, the, the Cadillac SUVs, that's for sure. I better get a Red Bull. This one's gone. Maybe some coffee. Yeah, John's going to try to catch Skippy's. <laughs> Has he ever done it before? Yeah, he said he's caught Skip Jack before. I won't be up there till, uh, like I said, Saturday morning. Well, from what I've seen, if you got the right jig and setup, it it's not much of a problem to catch them. As long as you're in the spot and they're hitting or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you can go up there when they're in a real good thick hit and you can throw just about anything, catch them. And, uh, yeah. They are certain jigs to where you can really constantly pull out, pull them out. Yeah. Um, Stan, how are you this morning, man? Good to see you. Morning, Stan. Dave B. Good morning, Dave Bozarth. Bozarth, how are you, buddy? I'll be back in a minute. I got to go do something about this nose. Yeah, they were hitting real, real good up there. Then the floods came and changed it up some, so. Hopefully, with the water yeah. high like it is, that's usually good spots down to there now. I don't mind fishing Barkley over it, but the carpet's moved in there super thick. Where's that at? Over at Barkley Dam. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. They got two big dams just two miles from each other. Oh, really? Uh, How many miles did you say? Huh? How many miles did you say? Two miles apart. Really? Yeah, the Cumberland and uh, the Tennessee pinch off about two miles apart from each other. Oh, okay. Like I said, my river's still in the fields. <laughs> yeah. That's what the carp love at when they get out there in the fields. Yeah, Nate, I'll bet it is up there with all that flat farmland up there. Yep, I'll bet all them drainage creeks and stuff were just overflowing. And, no, not yet. I always forget to keep an eye out for when it's going to get... The sun's going to come up. I'll be back. Oh. <coughs> John, you going to try it this morning? I bet you do. I bet you go down and try it. Uh, gotta get more good. Water gets down to the bank edge and more rain. JC, good morning. What truck's that, Dave? I'm sorry, buddy. I made you have to vehicle lined out where it would die at 60. Oh, did I sort my... Ah, man. 
Not yet. Uh, yesterday I spent getting the Buick ready, getting the plates and stuff like that so I can drive it while I figure out what's going on with the Ford. I don't, uh, good morning, JC. I don't like to drive the Buick because it gets 19 miles a gallon, maybe. And uh, my little Ford gets about 30 to 35 miles a gallon. So I can even do that math no matter what elementary I graduated from. And I did, uh, there's a filter I found, I don't know, I was talking about it the other day, or whatever, the battery packs in the back there, and there's, uh, on the driver's side, back at the little window towards the back, very back there, there's some vents. I couldn't really figure out, you know, what they were or whatever until I started doing some research, and the... When you're going down the road, the air goes in that vent and goes down and helps cool them batteries. And I can't remember, I don't want to quote it too wrong, but it, uh, if that isn't cool enough, I think it said that then it will pull cool air from the air conditioner. I don't know if it makes it kick on or, you know, well, I don't know. I'm not the engineer that designed it. But anyway, there's a filter like an air filter but just a little square air filter that we pull a little hatch open there on the side and uh, it just slides in and out and uh, i have no idea how long that one's been there but i had to you know i took it out and blew it out and everything for now and used a vacuum and kind of vacuumed it out the best i could till i could go get one because they said that if that if that isn't circulating enough air and it tries to call on cool air from the air conditioner system or something and the air conditioner system is not charged well enough then you know it, it goes in the fail safe and it shuts itself down huh. hence the, the dying while you're stopping while you're going down the highway Oh, I'll bet, Nate. Yeah. Ours were going back down, <clears throat> and we got a little rain. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it looks like it rained last night, so I'll run. I'm, I don't know, maybe two and a half miles south of a uh, bridge that crosses the Mississippi River. Where I'm at up here, it's not much of a river, though. It's should be the Mississippi kind of big creek. <laughs> But it was up and flowing the other day. Man, I'm still stiff between my shoulder blades. That could just be stress, though, I guess. That and the... Uh, week in an all-inclusive resort with someone bringing me frozen margaritas all day and night wouldn't care <laughs> yeah it was supposed is, to rain here today too but is it yeah uh, i think it's not supposed to rain tomorrow at least hope not yeah my deck's wet so i know it rained and then like i said i don't know if the power went off but with the stove in the kitchen and the microwave and the kitchen, kitchen clocks are out of whack. So, yeah, it, it's usually a pretty good indicator that the power went out. I'd be interested just to see what the the lake I fished that reservoir to state park. I'd be glad to see what it looks like because it's been it was down, got at least ten feet maybe 12 over the winter time you know they let the water down so it'd be nice to see if all this rain's bringing it back up i 
I don't know if it did or not, though, Jay. You know, I have to look around, J and J. I hadn't, I didn't hear anything, but I, God, I don't know. I would they uh, not send out an alert to let everybody know? Yeah, I have no idea. Somebody you know, they, Google that. You know, they put that fiber optic in the ground. They got that machine that runs that pot through there to pull that tube through. Yep. <laughs> They got on that one street right here down that way, and uh, when they was going through there, they hit one of the main water lines. One of the what? One of the main water lines. Oh, shut the water down to the town. I know we we were rebuilding our cable system, and I had to oh, I had to take something out to one of the construction people, crews, contractors that were putting the underground fiber in. And if you hit fiber optics digging, it's your fault. Because I'm telling you, they made a trench and they lay a, I can't remember if it was red and white or blue and white plastic tape down. Almost like a barbershop post looking thing. Okay, it goes on the bottom all the way, the whole length of wherever that fiber is underground. They put the, so I don't know, let's say maybe six inches of dirt on top of that then the fiber then a foot of dirt and then another thing of that tape so if you go through that tape and still get to that fiber digging you deserve to pay for what you're going to pay yep because you can't stretch it you know what i'm saying yeah see in this town here they've redone the water lines once before and some of them's not even on the map anymore and mm. they have one that wasn't on the map, and boy, when they hit it, boy, it shut the whole town down. I say, yeah, well, the best part is that's not the contractor's fault that's no. not on the map, you know what I mean? So they're not going to have to pay for it. Otherwise, that'd be some big money. Yeah. That'd make, make your insurance premiums go up. Yeah, Chris, they're putting that orange pipe down right now, and uh, they got it sticking up all over town. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they were down there working on it last night. When I went to the store to come back, they were still working on it. Yeah. And, uh, Boil order in effect. I told, I, said, I told him, I said, why you shut the whole town down for it? You got shut off valves to cut off that section. And uh, so they went around, turned the water back on the town and cut them sections off. Uh, so they shut the whole town down. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm, I see what you're uh -huh. saying now. Yeah. On each section, you know, cut that section off and the rest of it on. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't make no sense, would it? Yep. <clears throat> Sandy. And them the people that run the water company. <laughs> Thank God for wells and septics. That's all I got to say. You know, I'd like to have one of them hand pumps put in for the well. Morning, Sandy Toes. Good morning, Sandy Toes. How are you? But you know what I'm talking about, the old-fashioned well pumps? I'd like to have one of them put in. So with the hand ones? Mm-hmm. I got one out here in the front under my flag of the bird bath. Yeah. But it's, it's not hooked up to a well. It's just there for decoration. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I want one that's hooked up. And if you think about it, for me, for instance, where my house sits, I'm at the very last, fed off the very last pole in the run, okay? So my power could be out and nobody else's around would be out but mine because it's the very last run. You know, if it was out just me and no one else, you know, the power company is not going to be in that big a hurry to come out, so to speak, if it's just one customer. Mm. You know, Sandy, I am so with you. I need about a week on it by myself or even just a week camping somewhere by myself would do good for me. I'm okay, Sandy. I'm chasing a gremlin that's messing up my uh, little Ford SUV. But I may take one of these respite things and just take off by myself somewhere and just drive. Maybe, you know, 
get into Kentucky or Tennessee and then look up a state park or something I've never been to and go camp there or something for three or four days. Do a complete social media blackout where you don't read or look at anything. Listening to country music on the radio. It's good for your soul. Toes aside, socks, no singing. <laughs> Other than the messed up car issue, Sandy, I'm doing all right. One gold star for that. Gold star that. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I gotta get one cup. Yeah, me too, brother. <clears throat> and then I gotta think about getting this report out by at least five today, and I can't remember if I got anything I gotta do today or not. I pray that I don't have. What is, oh, I know. I got to go get blood draw at the VA, but that won't take long. Uh, my shoulder's all right. It bothers me some. Uh, it's just annoying. Not no not pain. It's just annoying. Sometimes the, the feeling I get in it is just annoying. But uh, other than that, it's doing all right. I mean, I can. How y'all doing? <laughs> <clears throat> you better quit. You're going to get yourself. I can't believe they got you moving that much so soon. That amazes me. Yeah, me too. And they're amazed too. And it's like, don't, don't look at me. I've told you I was a fast team. I, uh, yeah, that's yeah. weird because I, I know when they told me it just took that when they replaced or, or repaired the rotator cuff or whatever. They said it just took a long time for that to re-adhere to the bone, you know, and that it only had like stitches holding it onto the bone till it re till it reattaches itself. Oh yeah, I felt those. And uh, uh, yeah, I, it's, just, I, I have to stretch it. I do my stretches, but I don't go beyond its limit. No, JC, I haven't found out completely what's wrong yet. It's a trial and error thing. And you definitely start with the cheapest thing you can do to see if it's first. Sandy, I love fishing, but I'm not addicted to it. <laughs> it's a good addiction, don't get me wrong, but I'm not addicted to it. Yeah, you are. You and the you you got the bug, man. I do want to go catfish now. I hope I get it to where I can at least cast out there one of the big catfish rods without hurting my shoulder. Yeah. I wonder, maybe you could go bluegill yes. fishing or something, even though it's not the same. Chris, over. Please, please, I gotta go. I can't take it anymore. I haven't slept for two days. <laughs> Which, that's about how I feel, because I didn't get Actually, I was headed fishing when my truck messed up the first time. I call it my truck. It's my SUV, same thing. Hey, Sandy, uh, I'm ahead of everybody in the catfish community. I ain't been skunked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been either. <laughs> but that that's right. I was headed fishing when my truck messed up. Come think of it. I was within... Five miles of the place, probably. It's the alcohol. <laughs> That'll do it too, Chris. That'll do it too. Oh man! Chris, how do you throw the line out with the shakes like this? <laughs> Line 
He's like, that's good enough. I'll, I'll be calm here in a minute and I'll recast it when my hands quit shaking now that I'm here. Oh, fudge. Hmm. I gotta see what yep. time I have. Yeah, that's why when y'all see me up here talking last time, you see that gap tooth. That's because that sinker come back. Oh, bust my tooth out. <laughs> Line wrapped around my neck. That's Skip Jack's fault. He let go of it right there on top of water and shot out. Little sinker hit me right there. That back there go through there. Is that one Chris fish so all, all his chase got. Sick of having hooks thrown sideways at him. Yeah. Boy, his mates got sick of having. <laughs> they gonna throw out there. It goes that way. Oh, I'm sorry. One thirty. Gotta be there for blood draw at one thirty. Wonderful. <laughs> no, I ain't legit. Years. Tuesday. Let's see. Da, 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 da. When is my, oh, my doctor's appointment isn't until the 30th, okay? Which is the easy drop. Two, three, four, five. That's the same day that dad will come back from rest, but okay. There's a whole lot to think about. I'll wait till later. <laughs> no name for them jet skiers. Just accidentally cast it and hit the one in the side of the head. I didn't mean to. I'm here. People talking to fish your eyes. Saw a clip on socials of a guy oh. who asked people to look deep in the back of his ankle. We had it tickled a little. Whew. I got that in there. Oh man, and you just have to go ahead and push it on through and then cut part of it off, I reckon. That's what I would have done. Yeah. I mean, I have done that. My finger crop fishing and uh, using them gold hooks for minnows. And uh, yeah, Chris, there is something I keep forgetting to stop at and not to uh, mention it. I just cut the circle part off, pulled it through. If anything, that might be some okay rods, but with some really good reels on them. And that's not the hard way not to stand close to anybody fishing. <laughs> Or a sharp of tea. My son and I will be going to get our fishing license this weekend. We can't go out a lot. But we'll go when we can. Hey, look at there. That's all that matters. JC said a new bake shop opened. Oh, really? Where at? Oh, the ankle bone. I'll tell hey. you what. You, you want to see a well-stocked catfish bait shop pull up uh muddy water bait and tackle in, in uh kentucky there by j dog's house that thing is i mean it it's a, a catfish bait shop literally it's it's it, it's got everything you want live eel frozen shad frozen skipjack i mean uh Whisker Seeker Rods is pretty much exclusively what they sell. So I did when I my bait shop. I mean, I had crappie and bass and stuff in there, but not very much. I catered to catfish. Yeah. I guess that's what made mine. Pretty busy shop there for a while because uh, uh, Bad, uh, Grizzly Jig down there, they catered more to the cropping guys. And uh, now they got catfish stuff, a lot of it. 
starting to get a lot of it. And, yeah. Uh, and they cater more to the cap, uh, crappie bass, most of crappie, and nobody else for miles around. And so I thought I'm going to go with all cap stuff. More catfish people around here to crop people. Yeah. And it's growing so fast from what I was reading a while back. It's one of the fastest growing uh, segments of the fishing community. Yeah. I mean, basically, every time I see any crop people in my shop, they would say, oh, real foot Tennessee to fish for crop people. Yeah. They wanted minnows. Have you ever been over to the land between the lakes there? Isn't that one of them lakes? Oh, what's the name of them? Far western part of Kentucky, there. Well, catfish is popular, but bass is way more popular. Uh, crappie's getting up there with the bass, as far as being. It usually goes bass, crappie, catfish. Uh, there's a lot of people yeah. with catfish, but you just don't. They just don't get advertised like that bass fishing does. Man, you don't see them. Most of them are launching in remote river spots and stuff, you know. <laughs> I'd like a bass fish, but man, it sure looks like a lot of work. Pot shops are great. I got another set of my old punchers with their food from a pawn shop. <clears throat> Yeah, pawn shops, I forgot all about. I usually, like I said, the rods may not be the greatest, but you may find, come across some Abu reels and stuff in them if you, if you yeah. shop around. Especially if you go to the ones in Indy. Oh, I got you, Mr. Paul. All right, I'm getting ready to turn my cam back on them. Oh. oh, I got that. Does anyone else ever get that? It's like a, a stress thing. I think that it's like the muscle right along my shoulder blade on the right side. It, it almost feels like it's in a knot. I bought my yard yesterday and uh, I blew my back step off and my leaf blower, the battery went dead. And I went to charge it. I said, well, I'll charge it a couple hours and I'll blow the front. I charged it up, went to blow the front off. There wasn't a, no grass on my driveway or the sidewalk. The wind that took care of all of it. Who did? Oh, the wind? Yep. I know my grass was the highest and thickest that it's been since I moved here yesterday, especially over there on the septic system side where there's there was a lot of water over there. Yeah, I got you, Double J. I know what you're talking about. When I walked away, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, shoot, I know what you're talking about. Hole punchers. Ah, pew pews. There you go. Thank you. I was I was trying to figure what are you a teacher and there's a big demand for hole punchers. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I just didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> Message center. <laughs> long, long distance mosquito bite. Hole punchers. I like that. I shall have to remember that one. Advanced way of throwing rocks. <clears throat> Advanced way of throwing rocks. Lead launcher.
saying it. <laughs> you know what I think I want to get? I'm going to get me a, a 12 gauge semi auto shotgun. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was thinking, I ne I mean, you know, we got a pump, a couple pumps, actually. But I was thinking, man, you know, I had never really thought about it. And then I seen one in an ad or something, and I was like, semi-automatic 12-gauge. I like the idea of that. You know, I love to when I prefer more of a pump any day. What's that? I own two of them, two different brands, and I'll... I, I I like that better than I do the pumps any day. Oh, okay. What what brands did you own? Uh, uh Remington. I can't remember what size it yeah. was. It was it was a good one. Then I there was one was H and M or M and H or something like that. I can't remember exact. Or I have to look it up. But man, that thing had some range on it. I got an old video somewhere on one of my old my Facebook pages. They got blocked because of it but i'm sitting there holding my phone with a shotgun that's in my the squirrel's long ways away and i nailed that squirrel <laughs> filming it it didn't go over too good on facebook <laughs> i bet but it was it was cool though I can't remember what brand you ran it, what size that was. It What's was that? It was a beautiful gun, all wood grain, everything. So it was nice. Oh, yeah. You know, I always wanted a uh, lever action rifle, too. My brother had this one, and I wish I'd have got it off his wife when he passed away. But it was a lever action rifle, and it shot uh, 380s. Or nine millimeter, I can't remember, but it was a real. I mean, it it was a real common round, like a nine millimeter or a three eighty something like that. It was it was sweet. Yeah, about four years ago, went to Walmart and I heard uh, Sykes and Dexter Dexter Walmart, and uh, they come out with this new pump shotgun they had in there, and it was like eighty dollars. I thought it was a joke, and the guy showed it to me. That's why I said, "I'll tell you what, I'll take it." <laughs> Mm -hmm. Brandon Bunch, $80 pump. It was a nice shotgun, short barrel. Um, I got that and uh, I brought it home, never even shot it, put it right on Facebook, and I made $200 on that guy. <laughs> nice. 80 bucks my, turned to 200 My crazy old neighbor across the road from the old house, he's always buying and selling guns. And, uh, Told him if he ever come across the 1911 to let me know. And uh, he called me a while back up here. And uh, when you come get the mail tomorrow, you got to stop at the house and show you something. Like, all right, Jimmy, I'll do it. And uh, I figured he just wants someone to sit around and talk to. They should go eat a BLT. I had a BLT the other night. It was awesome. But anyway, I go over and look at this 911. He's telling me how nice it is. And it was, I'm like, Jimmy, how much money did you give for that piece of crap? It was all beat up. and Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, it, it was a good one at one time, I'm sure. I mean, it was a perfect, perfect candidate to have it redone, you know. Yeah. I have a chrome out Smith to West 45 ACP 1911. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, Sign 1911s are awesome, man. Yeah, my son's got a 1911. He loves that thing. It's a, it, it's a 45. Yeah. He loves that thing. Boy. Sandy, around this part of the country, most people don't hunt until about fall time. Yeah.
Kevin's Kevin Kevin's in the house. All I got is a is is a nine millimeter Beretta. It's sweet gun, nice. Oh man, that thing is powerful. Let's see, I got a M1, a Smith and Wesson 380, a little bitty Ruger 380 that fits in almost the palm of your hand. It's not real big. It's it's a great uh, carrying pistol. Let's see. 12 gauge, two 12 gauge pumps, uh, a little 410 called a snake charmer, single shot 410. And uh, th th oh, and three of those little 22 pistols, if I should, but I forget. They're only like five shot 22. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> I think if we got anything going on right now, it could possibly be squirrel. I mean, I, I don't small game hunt no more, so I couldn't tell you too much about that. There it is, right there. Oh, look at that little danger. Bam, bam, bam. It's got, it shoots five shots as a revolver. Yep. Yep. I got three so of those. Could. Let's see, that's pretty. Hey, is that handle like a mahogany color? Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't, I don't know, know if it's mahogany real mahogany or not. It's but, white, but oh, it's mahogany. Yep. Yeah, I got one I keep up here in the cabinet on my desk, one in the cabinet in the kitchen, and one in the dresser. Yeah. We call them pocket poppers. Yep. I call them keep it oh, hidden squirrel. until you get it. It's nice because you can keep it hidden until you get right up next to them, depending on what you want to shoot them for. And uh, yep. a little hollow point to the side of the head usually does the ticket. Yeah, pocket poppers. Yep. A lot of mafia hitmen use 22s for some reason. I got one in there, a little 22 revolver holds nine rounds, little one. Oh yeah, nice. It's a, uh, it's got an ivory handles and a, got that, that nickel finish to it or something like that. It's old. I like my Smith and Wesson M and P. To be honest with you, bet I think that that's my favorite pistol of any that I got. It uh. Except, and I can't believe they don't have any complaints about this, the button to drop the magazine, okay? It sticks out. It's right <laughs> by It sticks out so far that when I put it in my shoulder holster, it literally sometimes will drop the clip. And... Uh, I sent an email to Smith and Wesson about it, and they, you know, they emailed me back, which was pretty cool. But said they haven't had any complaints or anyone sending about that, and I'm I'm finding it so hard to believe. And I actually took it apart, and probably I filed a six. I don't know, not a sixteenth of an inch, but I filed a lot off of it to make it where it didn't stick out so far past where you know because actually and I had to switch it from the right side to the left side because I'm left handed and if it was on the yeah on the left side it actually the the release was actually as you're holding the pistol was in the palm of your hand. It, I mean it just horrible design. And I'm in fact I had it in the shoulder holster a while back and and it's dropped the clip one time and i'm like i'm gonna take it out and file it i'm gonna file it down to where it's maybe even besides just flush with the edge of the pistol maybe even recessed a slight bit i mean you may have to take your thumb or whatever and push it in just a little bit to get it to drop base one and base two <laughs> <laughs> i'll be watching that though jay Oh yeah, heck yeah! You know I'm like 
on a on YouTube. Uh, I think it's YouTube or streaming. I can't remember which. which you got to read the. Uh, I think it's YouTube. You got to read the community the community guidelines now. They got a deal about guns on there. Really? You cannot show a gun. Ooh, I'm probably done then, ain't I? Sell a gun, handle a gun, uh, display your gun, or, or some crap like that, or they can take your life privileges away. Nice, Chris. Uh, oh, I'm probably done somebody then. Somebody comes in, you know. Yeah. Uh, and that's why you don't see me wearing mine on my hip out there. Yeah. The it's covered up because, uh, you know, you, it just takes that one person to call and hey, he showed his gun, and they if they open that video and see that gun you hit, they'll boom, they'll zap you right there. They won't think twice about it. They won't mess with you. And yeah, it, well, whoever calls in on me, they can. Never mind. I better quit. I end up <laughs> like I did last week. But I had one on Instagram pulled one of mine. It's like it's getting closer to the election, man. It's going to get so bad that. They're going to have the word Nazis out there. And if you say the wrong word, they're going to pull your stuff. Hold it back. The one, I got a nice warning from Instagram. Yeah. And if I hey, didn't YouTube have that. Good pictures on there, I would tell them to blow me. Yeah. YouTube's got that. Uh, like they came out with that last year. And uh, everybody should have got the info on it because it came out new new community guideline rules and regulations or something popped up i didn't pay okay somebody told me to go look and i wasn't ready and i said oh my goodness so then on oh, if i carried mine i either had it in my bag or i had it covered up i ain't showing it no more on my on my hip like that Yeah, that's part of it too, Kevin. But uh, uh, the biggest part of it is, is that people are got on a hip and they'll pull it out and they'll show it, and they'll if they ever say it, you know they're selling it or something like that, boy, that gets you put. <coughs> they find loopholes and everything and try to do whatever. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, you can't handle them. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's gonna, it's gonna get worse the closer to the election we get. Believe me, because I'm getting yeah, warnings for stuff I never got warnings before on Instagram. Now, I don't yeah, even like on uh, TikTok no more. On my Facebook, I opened it up yesterday to see what my sisters were posting, and uh, and I went to. Uh, the uh, friend side of it, I hit the search bar and this meta AI crap came up there. And I'm like, what in the world is this? All I want to do is type a name in the search bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, Sandy. Welcome to the insanity. Yeah, that's true, Kevin. That's that's one thing. It states in it. There's no selling. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even begin. Hey, you to won't do nothing, that. but unless somebody turns you in, and all it takes is one person to say, "Hey, that guy's showing a gun on on his live." And yeah, that it, learn. Yeah. And if they just see it on your hip, that's their loophole to stop you from going live. The other it. part is they will also have someone review your account and go through and check your videos for more of that. Yeah. I mean, all they got to do is just see it on your hip. And they'll say, well, he got on his hip. Yeah, he's, he's had to show. Well, go ahead and just take his privileges. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, good Lord. Won't you look at the whole thing? My hand never touches it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, the anti gun protesters. Oh, it's, it's going to get so bad before the election, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's it's sad. My name on Twitter is Don't Ban Me Bro Four. That's how many times I've been banned from Twitter. Morning, Steve Mosley. I'm telling you, when you're fishing on that Mississippi River, 
And ain't them four-legged coyotes you got to worry about except two-legged ones. Especially at night time. So I don't blame anybody for carrying one out there at night time at all. Oh, yeah. I'm... They ain't that bad. But at night, now, nah, you won't catch me on that Mississippi River fishing without it. <laughs> you don't catch me anywhere without my pistol uh, outside of oh, my front right. door. <laughs> But most time it's in my bag during the day. But and and if I'm fishing, I usually have two. To be honest with you. You ain't catch me on that Mississippi River, man. There's too many meth heads running around thieves. Yeah, exactly, Sandy. You know. You know I. I can't remember where I read the article, or it was like an article slash story thing. And uh, they were talking about, you know, how how hard it would be for them to do away with the Second Amendment. But it's more possible to create, say, two generations from now, a society of Americans that 98 or so percent of the people never fired a gun before. Then you know what I mean. They basically would have a society of people who've never fired a firearm. Yeah, we're you hope you want, if you don't know how to shoot them. Yep, I should probably, if I get back to work and regular, like I see this house today, I just, if dad would stay like he is right now, you know, fairly coherent and stuff, I could, I'd be able to start seeing houses again on the regular. But about the time I schedule two or three in a row, something will happen and I'd have to send them back to the lender. So I haven't done that yet. Hey, morning, kept this regulation. I'll be right back. I think Pop's getting up. Regulators, let's I'll run. Be right back. Yeah, we're open carry. Right, right to, to carry too. We're open carry state here now. And uh, of course, by your amendment, uh, constitutional amendment, you have the right to bear arms. You carry it on open offices. Open. It just depends that some of your local state and city laws they. They they contradict that. Here you don't have to have a license to conceal them anymore. Uh, license for us now or is, is a deal saying that if we go to other states, that some other states they honor the concealed carry permit. Hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> I used to do a lot of buy sell trade on Facebook, man. I used to have a bunch of them. Now I'm down to like three. <laughs> that is true. The New York's bad. I heard the New York on the news that. Guys are going up to women and hitting them in the face. I mean, just hitting them in the face for no reason. Hitting, hitting guys, just walking up, hit, walk up, hit people in the face. I believe that they need to bring back some of the old Western laws. A man's coming, a man's coming. <laughs> yep, nice day at the office, Aaron. Congratulations. No, but they don't film it. They just walk up to him and hit him in the face and walk off. Like it was one girl got a, a broke jaw. Another one that said the hospital like and broke his neck. They hit him so hard. Yeah, but it happened at that point. I mean, that's the thing going over there now. And 
and the guy that they arrested the guy that hit the girl is on the news broke her jaw and sent her to the hospital and they arrested him but they turned around and turned him loose i don't know why i think they ought to put him in prison and have big bubble walk in there three or four big guys and somebody hold his ass and let each one take turn hit him in the jaw how's that feel You ever going to do that again? I feel butt like your mama should have. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them, they, they knock them out. Yeah, they get knocked out. Yeah, that's true, Sandy. They will. But you got to think, too, a lot of them in New York, they don't. They don't abide. They don't think that anybody should have a gun. She rose like, <laughs> like that. Turn around, jump on him, do do the do the crane kick for the kid. <laughs> crane madness or something. Be all over you, bad. You just don't know it. I don't know, it's a thing now. I don't know why they're doing it. Then again, why do democratic cities do what they do? Who knows? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> hey, what's y'all's plans for the weekend? That hasn't been asked yet. <laughs> I'm going to be up there in Kentucky tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock a.m. Central time, it's going to be the king or king, king or queen skipjack tournament. It's going to be off the hook. It's going to be fun to watch. Got to be there, man. It's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> then we got, uh, after that, we're, we're, uh, Fish Nation will be live, be out fishing uh, then for a while. And then after that, Jeff Beals DIY tournament is going to be held at 8.30 p.m. On fishing with Jeff Beal shit. We're gonna be uh going live with John Order and uh Dominic and uh Jason Jason's Adventures. Uh Anthony J all day is gonna be there. Uh we're just gonna do some a lot of catfishing and hang out, and cut up, have a good time. Oh, Paul Metal said we're going for them shell crackers. Onion fest here, but day onions. Oh, I love my day onions. The Simpson rustic is great. Yeah, I'm not that great, buddy. I'm just a poor boy just trying to get by. Open my shoulder, get peeled up so I can go fishing and get fishing. I can't sing a rhyme either, so. Work all day tomorrow, at least it's only one. Similar around Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, Sandy. What are you going to do with all them shell crackers, Kevin? Hey, dog and I, good morning. Bug man, be right back. What you going to do with all them shell crackers? You going to eat them or use them for bait? I guess the shell crackers would be good as eat bluegill. So many talk about the King and Queen tournament. I'm looking forward to catching some of it. Yep, 8 a.m. such time, my channel. And hopefully the 5G will be working good over there because we're going to be live on location. We're going to have Big Mike, Jody. Uh, like, remember everybody, uh, John, Jason, Dominic, Anthony J. Hopefully nobody out. Eric B is supposed to be helping out. Fresno is supposed to be helping out, keeping up with the count. My brother's thinking about going. Possum's thinking about going. I told my brother, I said, little brother, so you go get in on the tournament. I'll put you on there. You don't have to have me live. I can show you. And uh, 
They said, no, nah, I'm just going to go over and show them how to do it. That's why we call you no-show, buddy. You ain't going to show up. Uh, eat them. He going to eat them, says Kevin. I said turkey yesterday would have been nice in my freezer. Sounds like a place. <laughs> Then I'll catch the start, then I'll be lights out. Hey, we, uh, man, I just like to have fun. I'm just happy, dude, that you upset. But, uh, that's one thing around here, man. Quail, there's very few pockets here, not many at all, not enough for time. And pheasants, so you can hang that crap up. I used to love pheasant hunt. Used to shoot pheasants during pheasant season every year. And it got to where now they cut out so many tree lines, there ain't no place. And the river's flood, coyotes come up, decimate them. And uh, I've seen two, two uh, male pheasants in 20 years here. That's it. And when you go up further north of Missouri, you'll see a bunch of them, but not too many here. Not too many places they can hide and nest up. He said, I had the calls. The calls what? The call for the wild. The call for the wild. Get my battery packs charged up. <coughs> get my go to therapy this morning. Get my van packed up. Get ready to head out. Stay overnight. A hotel up there with John and all them. Hang out. Go fishing. I went dove hunting one time. It was all right. I didn't like the taste of the meat, so I quit hunting. Yeah, a lot of people use pheasant feathers for to time flies. They're they're good. They're they're I mean just well made. You don't think it's gator proof. <laughs> I don't think no boat, smaller boat is gator proof from a big gator. <laughs> but I used to love, I, I never too much hunted quail, but I used to love hunting pheasants, man. And no rabbit dog, boy, she would flush up quail, uh, the pheasants up. Every year, I'll never forget December, he's loud too. And uh, loved the way my mom cooked them. And I'd get my tag and I'd go out, bring the old rabbit dog I had, and, and they'd cut the milo fields and the stocks would be up. So I'd wait till about mid December. And then uh, the pheasants come back going through the fields again and, and go out there and that dog would flush, flush up a couple of pheasants. Boom, boom, be done. He was on allowed to. And, uh, oh, goodness. All right. He went back to bed, thank goodness. Oh, I like eating pheasant. Ooh. Dove catch beer catfish. <laughs> I've never thought about using dove for bait. <laughs> it's gator proof. Hey, uh, Eric, so good morning, all you butt scratchers. Hey, Eric, you fart sniffer. How are you, buddy? And now, if you want to hunt pheasant, you got to go up north and pay a guy to hunt his land, yeah. which is on there, you know. You got to keep it regulated. Yep. My dad was telling me where our <laughs> old house is, is that we lived at. He said when he was a kid, there was, you know, quail and stuff all over, and you just you don't see them anywhere anymore. Chris said, think about it. Think about what? <laughs> I'm never get hearing that gator growl at me, thinking I'm at the dog. And he just won't talk. Yeah. Er, er. If it's big enough to eat me, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Wanted to 
when I come across something and it, it's it looks to me like I'm dinner, I'm out. Yep, yep, not my place. Yep, that now that that would be good. I, uh, Chris M, I, I know a guy over at the Madrid. He had them house blocks. You know, we call them center blocks, but they're house blocks. Mm -hmm. Got the whole center. He had a whole row of them. He put up plywood behind it, and birds would build nests in all of them. And he'd go out there and get the baby birds and use them for a catfish bait. He catch big catfish on them things. Huh? I don't know if I can do that. Hmm. Baby no birds. gator rodeo for you, bugs. Thought you lived a, thought you lived a bit risky. Hey, Sandy Toes, there's a difference between being risky and being stupid. You don't get to be 60 years old having raced dirt bikes your entire life and still be able to walk and function by being stupid. I've seen plenty of people end up in wheelchairs. I'm not one of them. Knock on wood. But yeah, I don't. If it's big enough to eat me, I ain't messing with it. Bottom line. Yep. Alligators and poisonous snakes. Best to be left alone is what those are. Hey, if Hogleg wants to box a kangaroo, I believe you can take it. <laughs> no. A prudent man knows his limitations. Hey, if, if Hogleg wants to box a kangaroo, he better eat his weeds and hire Arnold Schwarzenegger to be his partner. Man, right. that one I seen that was all buffed up and swelled up that kangaroo, I'm like, tell him what him shoot that thing. You kidding me? Better call Rocky Balboa to train him. Yeah, all but, right. You got to hit him like this. And them behind legs or them legs of theirs, man, they kick you with those. It's going to take your breath away, if not kill you. <laughs> That's why I like fishing. It's safe. I got to get me some more coffee. I got to get more coffee. <laughs> Chris is hurt. Make me laugh. Except a bear, maybe. But yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. It gets maybe not a bad idea. Four foot lizard. Yeah, that's another one I ain't going to mess with. That just sounds scary to me, JC. Four foot lizards. Nope. I did have a couple of guanas, though, when I was a kid. Eric. Aristotle and Plato. Eric said, I always say if I ran into a bear in the woods, I'd poop myself. Nobody wants <laughs> to eat poopy food. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met my dog, have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My All little guy will eat cat turds. You gotta watch him. Sandy said that's a fragrance line you should invest in. Poopy bear prevention. If you squirt this on yourself if you're attacked by a bear. Shanks, the bear and me fragrance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Morning, Uncle Lou. That's a good one. Morning, Lou. The bear and me fragrance. The answer is don't be where the bear is. That's the bad part about down my great grandma's land down there that they reintroduced the black bear to Kentucky. Yeah, that was a great idea. Yeah, now, and uh, another thing is, if you're in a bear country, don't go alone. Just make sure you're the person you take with you that you can outrun. Exactly. 
but the bears are so prevalent there now that like when you take your trash out and set it by the road for the trash men well they got like little chain link fence boxes they got to build that lock down so the bears can't get in there and get in the trash cans. Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou's in the house. Hope, they, hope your ankle's feeling good. Uh, Eric, I don't let my dog lick me in the face. I broke her from that. She know better. I let my dog lick my face and kiss me. I don't care. I also let them hold a panic picnic basket for us. That bear ain't worried about no picnic bag. That ain't yo. <laughs> Yogi, look at that basket. He's looking at you thinking ham hocks. <laughs> I'm going to get some of them ham hocks. <clears throat> Someone has to apply it to their face, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't even go down to grandma's and camp anymore. You know what I mean? Like pitch a tent and just camp out. There is a, the old house burnt down. The great grandma's house burnt down about 10 years ago or so. They've never rebuilt a house. And some guy was supposedly watching it for us and staying there, you know, to maintain everything. So he got to stay there for free. And uh, evidently maintaining everything did include the flu to the fireplace. And he burnt it down. But there's a, a nice shed that's about, I don't know, maybe 10 feet wide and 18 feet long or something like that. And uh, my grandpa's brother was sleeping in there last time we was down. And the night before everybody got there, he got there. And uh, he could hear, hear the bear outside of the cabin, you know, messing you know, hearing scratching on the door and stuff like that and grunting. And he said, then it dawned on me that I left my gun in the truck. <laughs> Wasn't in Alaska or somewhere where there were two people, a guy, a woman out there rolling grizzlies, and they thought that grizzlies were their pets, had them all named. They said, hmm. no, they're not missing, and they found that grizzly, and they killed him, and uh, they found body parts, their body parts in them. Oh, I don't know. I never heard of it before. Yeah, they were on, they, I think they had YouTube or something. They was filming it and all that stuff, being close to them grizzly. They had them named, and they didn't mess with them, and one day hmm. they come up missing and they went out there to investigate it so they found blood and some body parts but then they seen this one grizzly walk up had a big old pot belly <laughs> and they put it down and it showed aggressiveness and they had no choice and when they cut it open they found some body parts about them in that bear belly that a bear was coming back to eat him what it was doing yeah and i uh I thought I heard coyote pups last night out there in the woods across from the pond. Stand up, prize you. You lot go up between the bears, cats, coyotes, and snakes. <laughs> oh, we see them. We don't mind. Jeez, I got snakes in my backyard. I was mowing yesterday and I looked. I said, look at those two snakes right there. I tried to catch yeah. them, but they faster than I would. I'll tell you something happened to me last night. What's that? Well laid. No, I mean. <laughs> you know, we don't I don't smoke in the house, so I go out on the front porch, smoke cigarettes. I'm sitting out there smoking a cigarette. Next thing you know, here comes a raccoon walking up on me. I thought it was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that happen before. Fix <laughs> bend down and pet it with you. Like, get, get. He come up to you and says, Sir, do you have a biscuit? <laughs> nah, he's probably like, Hey, when are you planting them tomato plants? <laughs> Eat some tomatoes in my diet. Hey, you know, surprisingly, I was at the dollar store yesterday. 
Dollar General by my house. And, uh, or no, day before yesterday when I was making BLTs, and I wasn't going to make them till I walked in there and they had some tomatoes and stuff like that and, and, you know, some vegetables. And the tomatoes actually looked pretty good. And I thought, well, heck with it. I'm going to buy some of these. And I bought some lettuce. And the tomato was actually really good compared to what you'd like get at Walmart this time of year, you know. It's better to go to the farmer's market, Buggy. What's that? So it's best to go to the farmer's market and get that kind of stuff. Yeah, when they start, but this time of year, there ain't nothing like that going on yet. I just needed some tomatoes for BLTs, you know what I mean? And, and I was amazed. I figured they'd be crappy, but at least I'd have BLTs. And they were actually pretty good tomatoes. I was surprised. It's Smith's Morning. Farmer's Market over here by us. They got a greenhouse, so they are they always got vegetables. Hmm. Huh. Man, I'm having trouble getting open. Oh, it's getting daylight. Good morning. It's definitely not sunny. <clears throat> I may have to make me a cup of coffee today. I have to go in a closet somewhere and grind the beans up, though, so I don't wake nobody up. <laughs> Is rats gangsters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, rats up there, up there, man. They gonna carry a coyote off. <laughs> yeah, man, I'd want them salmon in something sealed. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. Oh man, yeah, king crab, that'd be cool. I don't know what it is. The last week I ain't wanted to get up and go to work. Yeah, man, dude, I'm with you. I ain't wanted to get up and do nothing. In fact, I should be working on that report right now, actually, but that's not going to happen this early. <clears throat> How many stops you got today, Eric? Uh, Ten. No. Hey, John. Morning, buddy. Didn't see you come in, man. My bad. I'm spacing. I better scroll back up and see what I missed. I could do that, Chris. Live by the water and catch stuff to eat. Yeah, I'd be all about that. <laughs> I'm 
Might make some chili this weekend. Come think of it, I can't remember. It's been a while since I made a pot. I think. Right into the keys. That's on my bucket list is going to the keys. Oh, okay. I dozed off there, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just freaking. Ah, uh, this week's caught up with me. I'm sorry. You're only 4.5 hours from Key West. Really, John? Dang, I didn't know that. But that's one of my bucket lists is to ride the motorcycle from here down there and to the, to the Keys. I know absolutely nothing about them, where to go, what to stay, or what to do, or anything, but I'd like to go there. There's a lot of places I'd like to go, but I don't see it happening. Well, yes, yeah, Sandy, I wouldn't think about getting in the car right now and driving. In micro sleeps, I like that term. I get a lot of those in this chair in the evening time. And just remember when you were a kid, you never wanted to take a nap. Now that you're older, you want to take a nap. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ain't that a coincidence, huh? Born, you're born to wear diapers, and when you die, you die to wear diapers. <laughs> I know all about those right now, believe me. <laughs> it's a circle of life, you know. <laughs> yep. That's a fact, man. That is a fact. You blubber like a baby when you're a baby, and you blubber like a baby when you're an old man. Yep. Sure do. So finish one year after. Must be in a hurry. And see. Hey. Yeah, they shrimp for them. In the keys. I didn't know they had shrimp for them. So that's cool. Uh. <laughs> I'm just looking to make sure I didn't miss nobody coming. What are you doing, John? How you been, man? I ain't talked to you for a couple of days. I ain't been around, though. Where'd you fish at, John? Was you in Donkey Land or somewhere else? Um. Yeah, I may have to just make me a cup of regular coffee. That's where I figured, yep, yeah, Donkey Land. Aptly named. Yeah, I think I'll have to make me a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Good 
Good morning, Chadwick. <laughs> yeah, she always wins that one up you, it seems. F two W O fills with water. Yep. What are you doing, Chad? With you working today? Or are you home? Were you working in the massive? DHL complex today. Telling you, whoever put cruise control. Be, hopefully, hopefully what highway are you on? I put a control on a vehicle. They had to make millions. Yeah, I'll bet she does, John. Yes. Blessing. My rustic no five car pile up today. Ah, uh, we were going to doctor yesterday taking mom or yeah mom to the pain doctor yesterday and we come up to a road and there's two cop cars got the road blocked off and they're waving everyone to go right which we were going right anyway so it didn't matter to me but thinking man there must be a bad wreck up there or something and uh because the road about a mile up intersects with a big four-lane highway and uh so we go to the doctor and everything, and then we come home, and I get online and pull up the paper, and it turns out it was a uh, police chase that started a county away, and somehow they end up on the north side of Muncie, and they the police were chasing them, and they ran a red light and broadsided a Jeep, and both vehicles ended up upside down in the field, and... Uh, had one fatality, and it said it was the passenger in the the car that was being chased. So I'm figuring maybe they didn't have a seatbelt on or something and got ejected. I don't know. They didn't say yet, but that would be my guess. Editing today. Yeah, I need to learn how to do that, actually. Yeah, right, Sandy? Craziness. What is it, Saturday morning there now, Sandy Toes? About what, one or two in the morning? Yeah, work definitely never waits, that's for sure. For anyone who wasn't in here earlier when I first started, I'm just, I'm changing my, my show. I'm not doing weekdays anymore. I'm just going to do the Friday show. Uh, I was going to just stop doing it all together after last Friday. Uh, I was having a bad day and started the show and that was a bad combination and that was my fault. And, uh, I got angry, 
and I refuse to have anything in my life that makes me angry. So at first I was just going to say to heck with it. I'm not doing it anymore. And then I thought, you know, usually before I started trying to do three days a week or whatever, you know, the, the one Friday was, was usually fine. So I won't be doing a show Monday morning for anyone who wants to start one. Feel free. And I'll be doing Fridays and rest of it will be doing Thursdays, I reckon. It's Friday night at 9 p.m. Hmm. See, it's all Chad's fault for hyping you up, buggy. Yeah, man, I I can't handle the pressure. That's exactly what it is. Hey, good morning, Ed. Yeah. No, I just, you know, that morning I I had no business going live anyway. I was having it was a tough morning at my house, waking up and everything. So I said I don't think why I stopped doing the what's up Wednesday because. Yeah, I just didn't want to be dependent on to go on live every Wednesday. I got other stuff I need to get done. I, I can't just <coughs> drop my life just to be on YouTube. Yeah, take care if you don't. No way. I just seen something. And I can't, my my brain is just doesn't function anymore. Hey, good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Curtis. Same toes. Curtis, we'll pray for you. Have a good season with the doctor, man. What is okay. what are you going to talk for today? Look how smooth, buggy. Yeah, <laughs> look at you, man. Ooh, doggies. Like the way that commercial used to be. Uh, Nah. Rustic, you're still not here to banana muffin. <laughs> wasn't Uncle Velvet or whatever. It's the one that where the guy shaving his face real smooth and the girl runs her hand down his face or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go and see the cardiologist. Okay, cool. Good luck, man. Yeah, it's about time for her to get me some more of those too, Eric. I'm about out. <laughs> oh, comes the road crew. Yeah, I What's can't that? believe man. They hit that water line yesterday. Then they're going to shut the whole town off. <laughs> I go up there, what are you doing? You get shut off valves on every section of town. Just cut that yeah. section off and get it fixed. Exactly. Isolate that section by itself and let the rest of us have our water. We'll, we'll still probably have a boil water uh, warning or something, won't they? I'd imagine. Yeah, Curtis, I, I hope you uh, get excellent marks, buddy. I think he's just going for a checkup, ain't he? Who? Curtis. Uh, I think he's doing his yearly checkup. There's one doctor. I don't know what else he's doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing next Friday is my physical, yearly physical. Which this year will be my bi-yearly physical because I didn't get one last year. Monday, he tells the doctor to tell me the same thing he tells me every week or every time, every month when I go see him every three months. He probably yeah. oh, wait, exercise. Wait. I do exercise getting in and out of this truck so many times a day. Yeah, he had me on a treadmill running for my stress test. And I said, you don't ever see me running anywhere. He said, you want to you get my stress level up, I can give you an idea. <laughs> 
Something we don't do that here. Then why not? Hey, we want to be outdoors. What's up, Matt? Want to be. A one B was that was like a, a doctor outside of the VA? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, man, you got to stay on those if if you get that. I mean, when I had my right left shoulder surgery, they sent me outside of the VA, and uh, I'd say two weeks before until the day I I checked and double checked and made sure everything was was covered and good to go. But then again, I had a the that organization or whatever they send you to that that you know usually hooks you up with the doctor or whatever. I had a really good lady at that that you know was on the ball with everything, so I got lucky. Yeah, JC. I've let's see. The VA here has done my knee, replaced the knee. Redone both shoulders and cut 18 inches of my colon out. And I can't complain. The one I got, the VA people I got up here are awesome. I, I got nothing but praise for them. They treat me well. All my appointments are outsourced by community care. I, I called them and they said they couldn't find it. Always oh, something. Huh. Telling like somebody to call later for it. Hey, morning, Donald. Yeah, see, I'd look up Community Care's number and I'd be calling them and say, hey, we need to go through some stuff here. Tell me what you got compared to what I got. Yeah, Don, I am I, I'm blessed. You know, I actually and that's not just the the VA I go to up, up here where I live now. The, I even had good uh, good service at the one in Indianapolis, the, the big one, the Rodenbush VA Hospital. But the only difference is they're they're not as one on one personal because they have so many people. You know what I mean? So the you're pretty much a number there, but if something's wrong, they hook you up. That's weird. I got Eric on my phone here playing, and right below that, I got my TV playing on big screen, and my big screen is showing like 30 seconds behind. Yep. See, I got my phone sitting here and on my laptop, and it's the same way. There's a, a, a lag between I'm trying to think which one. On my computer, it's the StreamYard one, and then on my phone, it's I just. Uh, hit the oh shit never mind i'm drawing a blank yeah they got got fishing lined up for this weekend uh john order jason Erd, dominic anti j possibly possum hopefully uh got that tournament in the morning then we're gonna do some cat fishing the guys done told me i went throwing out no rock they said they got uh the uh, dirty dog rod holders I build, they got some of those. They're gonna put them out that way. I can just the bow go down, I can go reel it. And uh, they stood up and told me, You ain't throwing out that rod. <laughs> yeah. 
but I'm mainly going to sit back and watch them fish because John and Jason had to drive uh, several hours to get down here, and I'll probably just be filming or something. I just enjoy doing that. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to have one rod out. If it goes down, <laughs> they're going to try to catch me one catfish this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, oh, yeah, I've caught, except up here I haven't caught any yet, but down there with J-Dog I did. But I've only been, what, three times now up here. <laughs> yeah, three times. I've caught everything but catfish up here. I done a little trout fishing and that was easy to do and then uh well, I did that before my surgery and then uh then I did the skipjack fishing it helped my shoulder a little bit but uh that was pretty much easy to do I mean it really worked my right arm but uh that was pretty fun oh, I, 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 I guess I, I, I tried holding that big rod up and i still can't hold heavy weight on it and that and that rod with that reel is heavy which think it is especially when you got messed up muscle yeah and, uh, and there's no way i can throw it like that because i can't twist that uh no he's in kentucky right now he's up there at, uh he's up there at kentucky dam right now hey lisa Barito. Barito. I think I have your burrito, baby. You want to have a burrito? Mexican American. I like to stay up oh, all night. Wow. Fishing outdoors. So the yep. next day. Yeah, fishing in. <laughs> I'm headed to Chickamauga Dam here in a few to grab some s'mores. Skip Jay. Good morning, Benoit. Good morning, Ed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be up there until tomorrow morning, meet Dominic up there, John and him. That way we can go ahead and get our spots for everybody else piled up in there. Plus, I like being up there early in the morning, read that water, and see where I want. The spot I want to fish because no way, if, you got a swirl, if you got a swirl and a scene that goes out, <laughs> You want to throw out in that swirl, but as soon as you come across that seam on the back side of that seam, bam, they hit hold it up right there. John, got we got it. some kind of <laughs> telepathy connection thing going on then, don't we? <laughs> Who's that? Oh, I was singing the Cheech and Chong song, and John oh, said, Johnny, you're singing that bug. Wait do you see this video I'm editing. <laughs> or John. Yep, the skipjack tournament's tomorrow morning. Hey, hey, it was this time. Watch it. Live on location. The 420 episode. Nice. Nice. It's today. Is today the 20th? No, he said he's making a video for the 20th. That's what I said. I'll do it. 8 a.m. Central time. Be there. <laughs> Tomorrow's the 20th. Okay, cool. I have no idea what the date is. Yep. Tomorrow is the 20th. I went to. After I got done with therapy the day before yesterday, I stopped by at the cricket store. Go look at their cricket phones and stuff. Got the nice phones, but the plan she offered me was ninety dollars a month. I said, Shut up. Ain't doing that. Ain't no way in the world I pay you ninety dollars a month. Yeah. Unlimited talk, unlimited text. I ain't doing that. How much? Ninety. 
It's nice, you know that. I said, you said if, you, if you want my business, you're going to have to do better than that. Draw me a slow picture. Eight o'clock AM Central. <laughs> Don't make me kick you with my good ankle. Show me a slower picture. <laughs> then I'm on crutches now. I'll catch it a little faster. Uh, let me check it out, John. I'll see. You know, it's funny. I'm not getting any alerts when I text. Oh, uh. Wow. It's going to be interesting because, uh, the waters came up really high today, damn what they say. And, and uh, Jody says she's having a hard time finding them. So, Where's this at, John? Must be nice, older man. <laughs> I'm always nice. It's time not to be nice, but I'm always nice. I haven't it's heard good. nothing about a wildfire in Florida. Donkey land. Oh, that's what he sent me. I want to be said, good morning, Uncle Lou. Yeah. Give yourself full screen there, buggy. Yeah, I'm getting ready to it. You say that's what Donkey Land looked like? It looked like a fire. Oh, so it's an intentional burn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I thought it was a... Hey, uh, da, 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 da. I thought it was a wildfire. So that's why I you see I would drive. Let's see, you come across the Florida border on seventy five, and what's that interstate that runs east and west? The first one when you get it in the state, it's not real far in. Uh, is it ten? Yeah, no doubt, John. It looks that's what I was thinking it was. But I turn on, take 75 to that first interstate and go east towards Jacksonville. And I remember driving and seeing, you know, the floor of the woods looked like it had burnt. And some of the palm trees that were burnt, you know, around the bottom so many feet up or so. And I thought it had been the result of a wildfire coming through there maybe it what hmm yeah that's something they do it Instead of bush hogging. <laughs> and the closest we come to watching a, a wildfire is watching somebody burn the crop field off. Yeah, you know, I've seen <laughs> I've seen them burn the fence lines and stuff off here, you know, back when, you know, small farmers owned plots or whatever, but I've seen them burn fence lines off. And then, oh, what else did I see them burn? I see them burn 120 acres of old wheat field after it's been harvested. And God, that fire was so intense. Uh, you can feel it heat up a long ways, and I can only yeah. imagine California wildfire. Flash <laughs> burn the sugar cane. Interesting. Why did they do that? Flash burn the sugar cane. Is that to get the snakes out of there? Yeah, Eight, yeah. 
Oh, I bet. Especially depending on which way the wind was blowing. Or Tim. Hey, good morning, dog. How are you, buddy? It's good to see you. Yeah, if there's no wind blowing, and they set one in wheat fields right here on fire, and look, by the time that black smoke gets straight up in there and pillowed out, when it hits the ceiling, it looks like the top of the bomb. So, so. <laughs> Well, shoot. Where's my okay, belt? burn off all the leaf stems. Okay. Yeah. I forgot what country that was where they go over there and uh, they don't burn it, but they go out there and start with machete, start cutting it down. And you look up there and you see cobras coming out of the fields. I'm like, oh, good lord. Ooh, I don't think so. Cobras. Uh, my grandpa was bush hogging down in Kentucky, and uh, oh, I don't know, something got weeds or something got all tangled up or something. But anyway, he'd shut the bush hogging stuff off and uh, had wretched down to pull weeds and stuff out, and uh, the copperhead bit him right in the top of the knuckle of his pinky. One thing went in it, and. Wow. Uh, yeah, and, and the rest of his life, that pinky was uh, paralyzed, and you there was like a round spot where you see the one dot where the fang went in, and it was all, you know, a big knot sticking up on top of his pinky. Yeah, we uh, built hay out in Arizona on the reservation, alfalfa in the, at nighttime. Yep. And Uncle's dad, that's before I got out there and started doing it. Uh, one of the bells flipped over or something and kind of come undone. So he went out there, he backed this baler up over there, and he was taking chunks of it, throwing it in there, redo it, and he bailed up a rattlesnake in it, and he grabbed him by the hand. Hmm. And rushed to the hospital, bailed up a rattlesnake in it, and, and the head, he, when he grabbed that straw, that alfalfa chunk and put it in there, he reached to grab it to the other side and didn't see that snake because it was dark. In that bale of beat him. That was kind of freakish when I started doing it. I thought, yeah, I'm not. I'll just uh, cut the line and ease my baler up to it. <laughs> Grab it like a mm -hmm. Snake bit his probably just, nope, 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 nope. That ain't happening. <laughs> I like long range crap. I just like beat him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, man, he gets snake in on the chance, You as pretty much as good as dead. He said, "Tonto, come suck this poison out." He said, "I've been snake bit. I need help. Suck that poison out." He said, "Where?" He said, "In my butt." He said, "Uh, I'm sorry. You're you're, you're dead." <laughs> Yep, yep. I hate to say this, but you're a dead man. You yep. better get yourself in line <laughs> with the Lord real quick because you're getting ready to pass. <laughs> I ain't more animal. Animals, good morning. Hey, Johnny, <laughs> talk to gig is gig is gig shrimping. I think Dan will be busy. Hmm. Oh, what time is it? Yep, show ends at eight o'clock today. I got work I gotta get done. Backstage can will will remain the same, but I gotta shut the show down today. I'm headed to the dam. Y'all have a great day. You should have your hat tomorrow, Bug Man, says Ed J. Well, good luck. Well, thank you, Ed. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. I know uh, two stands or stand three. <laughs> one, one of them is supposed to be sending me a cast net from a couple weeks ago or whatever, but I, I was hoping to get here so I could practice with it, and then I was going to go down to J-Dogs next week and not mention anything about this net having arrived and me practice, and I was going to say, hey, man, let's go cast net some bait, 
and I was going to go out there and throw that cast net like a professional, but I ain't got it yet. So it's like, dang. Lou said, bug is the freeze warnings making it out as far as you freeze warnings. Good night. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. No, I don't. I hadn't seen any. What, how many days out is that, Uncle Lou? Let me look at the weather. No, I'm done. Freezing is done. We don't play in no more freeze. Oh, that's right. Now we'll move into his new house. Oh, let's see. Uh, how you like that new house? I got, you know, it may be Saturday. I got a low of 36. Sunday, low of 38. And then the other ones were typical. And then Wednesday. Where did it go? Yeah, Wednesday, low of 34. So maybe we do. I don't know. That's not, a, I mean, 30. Four, you know, 36, that ain't really a freeze warning, though, is it? Hey, someone's looked at weather. I ain't looked at weather a couple days. Oh, you're loading it? Cool. No, we ain't seen you around very much. I figured it. I forgot about you moving in that new house stuff. Get settled in. John, going to do some editing. Yeah, we know you got another computer there. You can still hang out and edit at the same time. <clears throat> you could burn your fingertips or something, though, John, so be careful. Makes it harder <laughs> to edit. Hang on, glue. 28 degrees. Good boy. Eat that mess up there. <coughs> oh, I need to get my shoes on. No kidding, 28. Yeah, I don't have anything below 32, it says. But dang, yeah, no. Freeze warning's not happening anymore. Seeing this. You know, it's like planting gardens and stuff. I've always, you know, used the Mother's Day rule of thumb, so. Hey, DHA, how are you, buddy? Huh. Hold on. I was reading something. Yeah, I don't see anything below 32 for the next two weeks, it looks like. I hope not, anyway. I mean, it maybe it wouldn't be too bad to have a couple of freezing days to kill the bugs that's already hatched. They ain't gonna kill them. It's gonna make them more determined. Yeah. Yeah, the animals, I'd like to... I, I was going to plant a garden, but I just can't see it right now. I'm going to plant some tomato plants for sure. And some, uh, I may actually plant one green pepper plant or something. I like those. <laughs> but I'm not going to plant a garden garden. I may even grow them out of buckets. I'm not sure yet. Hey, DHA, you going? You got your show today at nine, do you? What's my buddy, buddy? Is that my little guy? He's that little buddy. We know who's the most precious dog in this room at this very moment. That dog right there is. That's who. Next week is going to be even colder. You will go outside, huh? With my potty, huh? I let you go. Here you go. Coin double. <laughs> You're going to go out? Yep. Yeah. What you think? You're going to go out? You got to go potty? Come on, let's go. I'm, a, I'm a little stiff this morning, buddy, from mowing. Always makes my knee hurt. Oh, God, here, buddy. Oh, 
ooh, you know, you want to draw warm. Actually kind of cool, isn't it? It's definitely damp. That's far my name. What's double hook talking about? What you Thank want, you. man. <laughs> it's setting up with pretty dog, though, ain't you? Yes, you are. Ain't that a good boy? Yes, you are. Yeah, a lot of people, they go, when it gets really, really hot, they're going to complain it's too hot. They wish they had some of that cool weather bag. Yep, I'll be one of them. I know me. Brian B said, Good morning, folks, driving and listening. Well, welcome in, Brian B. Good morning. Oh, we going to the Potomac, the fish. What up, Brian B? You going to your government job? John, the government back. Job? John you down there catching skipjack, are you? He should be down there. Oh, what we got here? Okay, that's way. Oh, come on. Tilly, whatever you're doing in there, you better quit. Morning, Todd. It's kind of cool out this morning, Lou. It ain't cold, but it's cool and damp because it rained. Need some toothpicks for these eyelids. <laughs> hey, thank you, Todd. I appreciate it, man. You want to go out, Tilly? Is that what this is now? You guys ganging up on me today, ain't you? We're trying to get double treats or something. Is that what this is? You know I wanted that plan, right? No, he did not take his mail. Tim, you are no better than that. What's that? Oh. Yeah, it's John. Be checked with mail. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Come on, guys. Let's go. Here's a little Put your leash on you. When you learn not to run away from the yard, you'll be able to go out without that someday. Yep, John. There was some bad ones that went through. Until then, this is it. Oh, yeah. It's definitely cool. Hmm. Great, damp, cool morning today, even. I think it'd be yeah, a good Dave, day. Be safe out day. There. I may have to schedule yeah, my blood draw for Monday. Did you check your drawers? <laughs> See you, Daniel, buddy. <laughs> Check your drawers. Tim said, John, do you have it with you? I didn't right, look at you. Be safe out there. 48 here. Jason still asleep? Did small water charter say he was taking off already? Yeah, he said he left a minute ago. Had to do some yeah, editing. I might have been dozing. My bad. I was going to ask him if the gig was shrimping to last night or something because I didn't see him. So I figured he must be shrimping. John, what time did y'all get in last night? Let's see here. I know you told me the day I left it like it was for two nights. Instead of canceling, make it one night. Your butt. AJ, dog, come up and say that to my face, buddy. We stopped in Evansville at one such time.
four or six hour drive, man. I told you I drove Pitwick three hours one way, then six, seven hours, come home, drive three hours home. Last minute notification from Jason. He got off a day early. Hey, might as well get a head start, get some practice in for Dominic. What's that stomping on you, as he says? Chris says, be nice, all. <laughs> we are nice. We are, we are, we are a nation. What the heck? Okay, what did I do wrong? Yeah, I was gonna call you back last night, and uh, John, and uh, after I ate supper, I was full. I was like, Ugh. "There, I made it work. Get out of here, heck yeah!" Oh, Look at what that say on the ticker says, "Don't forget." No shows on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Only doing Friday shows from now on. There you go, folks. So, John, you ain't been to bed yet? Is that what you mean? Hey, I slept good last night. Or is that who does anything to someone's face anymore? That's why those old people say that's a classic line. Today you hide my PC and talk about your friends under a secret name. <laughs> who does that? <laughs> we all do. <laughs> now drive six drive hours six after hours evening and wake, and wake all day. Today, you mean, John? You better, you better get some sleep, man. They're going to kill you fishing tomorrow. Hey, well, well, hey, me and Dominic's going to be driving nine hours to get to your house. Hold on, D.A. Billy. We're not going to stop until we get there. Come on. You got my little one, huh? Come on, let's go. Don't you dare call him over here today. He got in trouble for trying to get in the house yesterday. Somebody pooped. Well, we'll stop. Get the bathroom. Get, get, get something. We're going to drive straight through. I'm going to run you out of these pigs in the blanket. Just, I'm going to have to eat breakfast. Oh, Kristen said. Oh, sorry. Cute breakfast. That's what I'm talking about. It's a deal. Your little guy. Hey. There you go, buddy, buddy. But Northview, yeah, you're probably right. Where's my paper at, man? But then again, do people actually sit and talk to each other face to face anymore? Doesn't seem like it. Barbecue chicken breast. I think we're having a, oh, what's it called? You put chicken breast in like a baking pan and then cream of mushroom soup and something else i forget maybe a can of cream of chicken soup also or i don't remember but you, I, I got the recipe somewhere but that's what i'm gonna make tonight because i ain't got a grill yet i need to get a new grill but That'll probably have to wait. I don't think it'll happen this summer. <laughs> Did he send you a text too? Knucklehead sent me a text. I told him to come up here and say that to my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he tell you he was number one? Yeah, you got the same number one text. Classes on Taylor Swift. Yeah, boy, that'll come in handy in the work world, won't it? Man. Wild 
the Chinese, Chinese students and North Korean students and all them are on in real world history and how to kill us. Why our people learn all about Taylor Swift. So I, what do they call the class? The Swifty, you know what? Let's see, the Swifty, Swifty by, I don't know, Swifty something. Hey, dog, that's a good idea right there. I have to look at how to do that. Maybe what, like minute rice or something? I Or do you put regular rice in it while it bakes? I don't know. Or do you cook the rice first, then add it in, and it doesn't really matter that it's bacon? I'll have to Google that, re that recipe. Yeah, rustic, rustic types me, uh, strikes me as the kind that's got some Taylor blowing out the speakers on his truck when he's not, you know, on live or anything driving. Hey, good morning, Riley. What time is it? Let's see. Oh, oh Rustic's a big Swifty. <laughs> I used to make my ex-girlfriend's daughters mad. I forget who was it that was popular when one of them was a junior and one was a freshman. But it was some girl singer or whatever that you haven't seen again in 15 years, you know. And I always just say, you know, you know, 10 years from now, they're going to be saying Taylor who? <laughs> they said Rustics or what? Okay, so regular rice and put it in there raw and it'll bake it soft. Okay, cool. That's a good idea, though. I hadn't thought that. I got some rice, too. Or I also have some of that, you know, like you buying the pack. And the, the plastic bag thing be like, you know, chicken rice or Spanish rice or whatever. I got some of that, too. I could put that in there, I suppose. So, to do, so I got to think about my layers. I don't know if I want to put, I think I put Planko on top of it last time. I don't remember. But I wasn't real stoked on the flavor of the Planko crumbs or whatever, so I'm going to try something else. Insta rice, that's what I was wondering. So if that's the case, I could dump that bag of chicken flavor or, you know, instant rice. It's not really instant rice, but. Now it may already be cooked because you just heat it up in the microwave, I think. I have to look at it, but I can put that in there instead, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Can everyone speak? Yeah, I'm Chris, man, I'm not worth a damn today. I'm not going to lie to you if you can't tell already. This is a horrible show, and it's my fault. I even went to bed at 11 last night. I've been trying to go to bed every night at least by 11 o'clock. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm going to, I'll research it, dog, you know, I, I but I suppose suppose it would work in the aspect of, I don't know what you're going to put. The, you see, and I don't use the cream of mushroom usually. I'm not a fan. I usually just use the cream of chicken soup, Campbell's cream of chicken. So I wonder if you took, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So you'd have like maybe a layer of something have the rice, the chicken breast, and then, or maybe 
put the rice and the cream, the chicken cream stuff in the bacon thing and mix it all up and then put the chicken breast in. I don't know. Yeah, that's possible too, now that you mention it. So I'll Google it and see what's the best way to go with that. Now that you mention it, yeah, it could. Yeah, I couldn't even make it. You better slow down there, driving down that road that fast. I ain't doing 30 miles an hour. You is that a, okay, is that a gravel road? Nope. Like, okay, you're all right. Hey, downtown Ernie Brown, how are you, brother? Good morning, Ernie. I heard you say a while ago that Rustic was something, and I heard something about Uncle Lucy. I was a Swifty or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to round up my stuff. Make sure I grab my wallet. <laughs> yep, I got it right there. Yeah, you, you're not like me neither, huh? You procrastinate till the last minute. What's that? Grabbing like stuff? It. Yeah. <laughs> Mom and them always laugh because I'll get ready to leave. And I'll go out to the truck, and it's inevitable that I'll have to come back in and get something that I forgot. It's every single time I leave. I don't yeah. know why that is, but it is. Well, it's like me. I'll load up stuff well beforehand when I got a trip. And then I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, I'm forgetting something. Forget something. Well, we got quite a bit of rain here last night. Water standing everywhere. Yeah, I don't know how much we got, but it's wet out there. I know it is. Let's see here. Glad I mowed my yard. Stay a third before the weekend. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him today, see if I can't go down to two days a week. This three days a week yeah. trip, man, it's getting expensive. With well, the price of gas keeps going up. So I want to set up a camper or a tent up there or something to stay <laughs> Y'all got a room I could live in to this, to this over. <laughs> Can I come and stay at your house on your couch? <laughs> <laughs> There's one lady there up there. She might let me. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of that one. Yeah, buddy, I would be too then. I don't think my wife would like that too much. Oh, I got low tire. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Be all right. We are blocked. Block. There we go. Hey, look at there. It rained. It rained pretty daggum good. Possum might be able to go with us this weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, heck what's, yeah. The, what's the rain have to do with it? Well, it puts him out of the field. They're trying to get cocked in the ground, I guess. Oh, uh, oh okay. I, yeah, I, I, all right. I didn't know it was farming. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, he got all the corn in, helped get the corn in and uh, the beans. I think they got rice and cotton, and uh, he was knocking beds down, getting ready to plant cotton. Boy, all them beans are up across there. You say they're up already? Huh. Yeah, they're up. Yeah, we got they corn even, already six inches tall. They haven't even gotten the fields here, most of them. 
<laughs> yeah, all the fields are starting to, that they got planted is already greened out. Crops coming up. Really? Yeah, like I said, there's corn. There's some corn here that's already six inches. And a lot of it, all of it's up. Ooh. About three inches to four inches tall. Okay, w, Dave, I didn't, I didn't see it. All right, buddy. Guard your ankles. I'm going to end this at, well, hell, I probably already ran over it in there. Let's see. Nope, not it yet, is. but I'm going to try and probably end this right at 8. Yeah, yeah it's just That's 7 o'clock your time too loud. or 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock your time, won't it, almost? It's almost 7 here. Bug, you live at Central Time, don't you? Uh, It's 7.56 here, so that's going to be what, oh, Eastern you're Time? Hour ahead. Yeah, you're an hour ahead of us. Yeah, I live in God's Time. Dang, Uncle Lou lives closer than you do. <laughs> I think he's uh, Central Time. Oh, like he said, he, he said that that's that's God's time, but I live in hell down here talking about me. <laughs> no, he says hotter than hell. I'm in purgatory. There we go. That's better. We're gonna get all these knuckleheads up here. Good morning, Ernie. How's that, D, Ernie? There we go. Gonna be an allergy day. Gonna be an allergy day. Everyone <laughs> wants to say. Uh -oh. I was just sitting there and it got sound got a bid right. request from who? Somebody wants to send me an order. They just take you up on that. I don't remember what my login is for this one. It's still the same swollen when I use it. Well, make sure you get that ice pack on there. Them frozen peas out. That'll help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will. Nothing thing will help is go on Amazon or do you one of them uh them tens machine, man. Oh that oh you that oh that makes a wonderful big difference. Really? You can order them? Yeah, I ordered mine. Uh Stonefly told me where to get mine. Off of Amazon, cheap? and I went look. I think I give like forty bucks for it. That ain't bad if it works. Oh, it works. First time I put it on there, uh, I turned it on both sides because it comes with four pads, two different leads. And uh, I turned it on. And I thought, well, I run it on about seven or eight up there. I turned that little bugger on three, and it like to blow my arm <laughs> off. I said, "Good God, <laughs> turn it down, turn it down." <laughs> I'm running it on one. I'm like, dang, go, boy. That little powerful little thing now, I'm telling you. Yeah, I was going to say, probably shouldn't, should only be used after fully reading the instructions, maybe. <laughs> yeah, after that, I read the instructions because <laughs> I just glimpsed over them. And, uh, and theirs runs off of 110 electricity. Mine runs off 9 volt battery. I said, ah, this can't be nowhere near as powerful as that other one. Oh, crap. I thought my fingers were going to explode when that thing went off. I was like, good Lord. But after I figured it out, turned it down, it felt pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm trying to think if I got anywhere I could use that at. I don't think so. That's more, Well, maybe when I get that muscle pain <laughs> between my shoulder blades. Yeah, there's a chance right here today, I think, because it clouds are dark. 
yeah i'm not sure it could rain here again in fact i didn't look at that part of the forecast i just looked at the temperature let's see the rest of the day it looks pretty good with no rain let's see what the night looks like uh -huh. looks pretty good saturday chills a little do, 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 do. let's see where we're at here go back you big knucklehead This is today, right? 9 a.m., 1 p.m., no rain. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, uh, come on now, we didn't need that. So I tell people, I see, you look at the weather now. If you got plans for later on the day, make sure you check it six hours later. It's going to change. Yep, yep. All right, before we close this, everybody say, tell what your plans are this weekend. Right now, mine are nothing, to be honest with you. I'm going to lose signal again. If you do, Rustic, you got the link, right? In case I shut down, it's after it's eight oh two now, but I ain't gonna shut down just this very second. Let's see. Oh, that now, but man, it's gonna be one of them days, dude. I'm telling you. I can already see it. Ah, farmer's market, that don't sound too bad. I'm only going to have some rain. Ah, J.C. Cool. Cardinals, it's the Indiana State bird. I think ours is the blue jay. I'm not sure. I don't know why I see more cardinals than the blue jays. Onion Festival. I don't know about all that. There'll be some good breath there. <laughs> I used to know an old guy that would sit at the bar, at this bar I used to go to, and he would eat onion like an apple. It used to gross me out so bad. I'll be like, Burning Man, how on earth can you eat an onion like an apple? Oh, this is a great onion right here. <laughs> no, it's not. You're eating it like an apple. There's something wrong with you. Seek help immediately. Hmm. I mean, well, misplaced country girl might do a video of this mural near the farmer's market. That would be cool. Vidalia onions grow here. Do they really? They grow in Georgia, don't they? In Vidalia, Georgia or something like that? Yeah, don't worry, dude. You'll never hear me critique spelling because I'm the world's worst speller. Hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to have to get to work because I've got probably four hours at least on this report it's going to take to uh, type it all up, I'd say. I think I got all the market stuff done. I got to look at my file again. I can't remember. I think I done all the market analysis yesterday. So I probably ought to go. 
uh, I'll see you guys next Friday. I don't know. Y'all have happened. a good weekend. No, I'm going to. I'm going to kick a dog and jack a jaw. Kick a dog? Why? Like the piece of crap alley dog he is talking crap all the time. Take it to the man. Yep, I'm be rooting for J Dog or I'm rooting for you guys to whoop old J Dog this week because he sent me a text showing me I'm number one. So he is officially not going to get rooted for this weekend. I'm going to send the voodoo hex down to him. Thank you, Big Bill. You too, man. Uh,. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe I need to post something. I don't even know how to do it. Why would I even say it? Maybe I'll make it short about not having the show Monday for people who weren't here today. JC, are you talking about stealing you? Hey, Mike, how you doing, brother? I'm getting ready to shut her down here. Uh, I got work I have to do today. And I, I can't work with, you know, why this is going on or whatever. Even if I muted my thing and just let it play I still wouldn't be able to know me TC hmm Okay, so this weekend, Rustic will be catching Skippies. And Eric will be down at J-Dogs. I think he's going to be fishing in J-Dogs Brothers' boat, if I'm correct. I don't, I don't remember. With him and his brother taking on J-Dog and who else, Eric? Or is it just J-Dog? Taking on J-Dog and Tara. Oh, and Tara, yeah. Well, I so, said I was going to kick a dog. Dog and Jack the Jaw. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't have a chance, you guys. So, Terry will kick that butt. Yeah. Is it numbers or, or weight? It's just for fun. Okay, so no real no, rules. Yeah, that's how we roll. Yeah, but I was wondering are you going to look for numbers or are you going to weigh each other? What it's all about. What it's supposed to be about, but a lot of people. Okay. So if uh, you guys are going numbers then, right? The number of fish, not total weight. I thought we were just fishing for fun. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know what I mean, though. Even if yeah, it's just it's for fun, you got to have a it's perimeter. Just it's just, just have a practice. And talking smack and I understand that, but what determines who wins? Is it the most amount of fish or the heaviest amount of fish? I what he to do. I just need to know what you know, going around and saying, You wanna go, bro? You wanna go? So I said, Yeah, let's go. Saturday morning, let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I think I need to find me a national anthem. Well, hell, I wouldn't even know how to play it. Well, I guess I would just have my mic on and play it on my phone, wouldn't I? And it would just come over on the mic. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> what are you working at? Stop that, you little. Hey, I'm probably barking at all in the morning today. I went by Skip's work. Are you outdoors? You probably heard the little beep from the little, the little beep from the box truck. It's big of the truck got a stupid little little horn like a little key or something. Uh. So that beeping was on your end? Yeah, that was me beeping. But every day I go by uh, Clearview Outdoors work, I beep because he's not his window faces the, the road. Yeah. He told me he sees me go by every day. So now I start honking. Maybe he'll hear me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go look here. Oh, they're getting ready to put asphalt down here on this four way here. Oh, I love it. It's a wonderful it smell. Right in these roads. We must be getting ready to redo these roads. Man, one tire, $217. Woo -hoo. Ooh, I'm going to turn on some heat in there. Okay, cool. Ooh. <laughs> 